How to create a snippet. Snippets are pieces of text that you can insert into your document. Let's create a new dynamic snippet in HTML. Right click in the snippets custom bar and select new snippet. The snippet properties dialog box will appear. Under the general tab, when you type the name of your snippet, the trigger and text will also be filled in. Customize the name of your snippet and the trigger. Then assign a shortcut and write a tip. Select a type and edit your snippet in the text box. If you click directly in the text box, you will edit the text there. If you click the edit button, you will edit in the M Editor main window. Press the right arrow button to view predefined placeholders and parameters that you can insert into the snippet text. Under the Configurations tab, specify whether to autocomplete only with the following configurations and whether to edit with following configuration for snippets and macros. Then click OK. You have now created a new snippet. You can create as many snippets as you want. You can also create macros. You can edit your snippet by right-clicking on the snippet and selecting Edit. Then you can edit the snippet text in the M Editor main window and save it. You can also edit your snippet and adjust the properties of the snippet by right-clicking on the snippet and selecting Properties. There are many ways to insert snippets into your document. To insert your newly created snippet at the cursor position, double-click on the snippet name in the custom bar. Right-click on the snippet and select Insert. Click and drag the snippet from the custom bar to your document. Display the pop-up menu by pressing Ctrl-R and select the snippet or type the trigger keys. There are also many things you can include in your snippet to transform text and various built-in and user-defined parameters such as plain text, parameters, placeholders, mirrors, transformers, and macros. Plain text. To write plain text, most characters can be used. However, if you want to include backslash, dollar sign, or apostrophe in your plain text, they must be escaped as backslash 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 dollar sign and backslash apostrophe. Example. The following snippet inserts the plain text sentence. The dollar sign requires a backslash to be inserted properly. Parameters. A parameter is a value given to a variable until an operation is completed. When you insert a snippet that includes a parameter that you have not yet defined, you will be prompted to enter a value for that parameter. Decide whether to save the parameter under your global parameters and click OK. You can define global parameters under the Snippets plugin Properties, Global Parameters tab. Example, the following hello snippet requires you to insert a value for the parameter my name. Placeholders. 
you can jump from one placeholder to the next. After you insert a snippet, the cursor position jumps between placeholders, and pressing the tab key will jump forward to the next placeholder. Once you jump to the last placeholder, pressing tab no longer moves between the placeholders. You can define these tab stops within your snippet as dollar sign open curly bracket n colon parameter close curly bracket, where default is the default value that first appears when the snippet is inserted. When there is no default value, you can omit the curly brackets, so the tab stop appears as dollar sign n, where n is an integer value between 0 and 9. The placeholder tab stops start at dollar sign 1, the last tab stop is dollar sign zero. Example. The following snippet inserts a hyperlink in HTML. The first cursor position is at dollar sign one. While the cursor is at dollar sign one, if the user presses the tab key, the cursor jumps to dollar sign two and then to dollar sign zero. Mirrors. If you use the same placeholder index, all the values in these placeholders become the same or mirrored when you enter text for the first placeholder. Once you move to the next placeholder, the mirroring function will turn off. Example. The following snippet inserts a for loop. The value i is the default value for the placeholder and placeholders with the same index are used in two other places. While the cursor is at 2 colon i, changing the value of i will be mirrored into the other places. Transformers. You can transform the value of one placeholder into another by using a regular expression and a replace format. The syntax should include the index of the placeholder, the regular expression to search for, replace format, and whether to match case. Example. The following snippet copies characters entered into the first line to the second line, except the first character is capitalized. Macros. You can insert a macro in a snippet in the form of pound sign. If you use an ActiveScript language other than JavaScript, you will need to specify the alternative ActiveScript language. Example. The following macro inserts the clipboard data. MEditor dynamic snippets are very customizable and improve your speed and proficiency at creating documents, as well as make inserting words and phrases smooth, simple, and quick. For more information regarding the snippets plugin, please see the help, how-to, plugins, use snippets plugin.